So collagen is protein molecules that are made up of amino acids in the body. So it's a naturally occurring um, protein in the body, which as we age uh, will typically decline, the production of collagen in the body will typically decline as we age. Um, so it supports connective tissue in the body. So your skin, um, tendons, ligaments, you know, hair and hair growth and things. So you'll, you'll see a lot of supplements on the market for collagen, but it is a naturally occurring um, protein in the body that we can be eating and in foods as well. Does it get affected with diet? So it will typically decline as we age regardless of diet. Eating a good quality diet will certainly support collagen growth. However, regardless of how well we eat, it was always going to decline as we age. It's just part of um, being a human being, unfortunately. Would you recommend taking supplements to support it? So depending on the reason, so collagen supplements, the evidence is still emerging with collagen. It's definitely been more researched over the last uh, few years. However, it de depends on the type of collagen that you're having and it depends on the reason you're taking it for. So I um, personally prefer to recommend collagen for tendon and ligament injuries and people coming back from injury. Um, so as a bit of a protective measure in rehab training, um, and that's at a dose of about 20 grams. Um, it also needs vitamin C to absorb as well. So a 50 milligram dose of vitamin C. Um, I also recommend it for a lot of endurance athletes whose tendons and ligaments are under a lot of stress regardless if there's any injury there. So it can be really useful. There's not a significant amount of research supporting skin cell turnover and sort of hair growth and things like that. Um, but from a tendon and ligament perspective, then there's definitely some emerging research that is going to be supportive. Well, cycling, it, it's an outdoor sport, so you spend countless hours in the sun. Are cyclists more prone to being low in collagen? The sun will typically have an effect on speeding up that process of, of reducing collagen in the body. So. Um, in a short answer, probably yes, but that's not necessarily going to affect the collagen. That would be more so in the skin, uh, in so sort of, you know, on your face and whatnot, or areas that are shown to the sun, but not from, that won't have an effect on the collagen in connective tissue around sort of the um, muscles and tendons and ligaments. What are the best food sources to uh, increase your collagen? Um, so collagen will typically be, um, bone broth is, a, is a, the may, most um, abundant one that has collagen in it. So that's become a bit more of a popular product. Uh, again, it's not gonna be be all end all, but I think it's a really easy thing to incorporate in a diet. And it's a particularly good um, substitute for using stock um, in, in meals, because it's typically a lot lower in sodium as well. Um, so bone broth is a great one. Um, organ meats are a fantastic one, uh, as well as oily fish. So things like salmon and sardines are also a really good source. Uh, and then um, some leafy greens and, and whatnot, but generally it's gonna come from animal sources more so as well. So what about the vegetarians and vegans? What should they be going, just the leafy greens? Vegetarian or, or vegan and trying to um, improve collagen in the body, it is gonna be a lot more difficult, um, but beans and legumes and lentils are a great one. Um, brown rice, uh, green leafies, but it's generally just trying to eat um, a good quality diet. It, it's gonna be quite difficult to um, get collagen from a vegetarian and vegan diet, unfortunately. Are there any absorption issues that should, people should be aware of when taking collagen? If they're taking it as a supplement form, um, best um, form of, of collagen is a hydrolyzed collagen uh, in a powder form, and it does need 50 milligrams of vitamin C to absorb properly. So anything that doesn't contain that in a supplement form, um, you are needing to eat it with some form of vitamin C rich food or um, a vitamin C supplement as well. There are a number of different products though that have um, combined both. So you will typically see a dose of 15 to 20 grams worth of collagen with a, a 50 milligram um, vitamin C component to it. So one of those supplements that you may or may not notice any sort of benefit. Um, and again, I would say it's, it's sort of the icing on the cake um, analogy as well is if you're eating poorly, um, taking a collagen supplement isn't going to do a whole lot. It's going to be um, supplementing a good quality diet to make sure that the body is capable of, um, you know, recovery in other aspects of, of just using a collagen supplement.